Hi friends, in this tutorial series, we'll be implementing Spring Boot and Spring Batch examples. This is the first tutorial of the series and in this tutorial, we'll be looking at what is Spring Batch. For this, go to my website javainews.com, Spring, Spring Batch. These are the various tutorials that we'll be implementing in this series. Now go to what is Spring Batch. Before we understand what is Spring Batch, let us first have a look at what is batch processing. Batch processing is the processing of finite amount of data in a manner that does not require any external interaction or interruption. Using batch processing, we run jobs without any end user interaction and also these batch jobs, they can be scheduled based on the availability of resources. So batch processing, it involves running the batch job to process some finite amount of data to get the desired output. And also when this data, it is being processed by the batch job, there should be no external interaction or interruption. So these jobs, they happen without any end user interaction. The amount of data that is executed by the batch job, it might be quite large. So the output, it might not be immediately available. Still, there will always be some deadline defined for batch jobs. For example, some batch jobs, they are related to payroll data of an organization and these need to be processed by 30th or 31st, that is the last day of every month so that banks can be notified to process the salary amount on the first so that employees, they get their salary by the first of every month. Again, as batch jobs, usually they process a large amount of data. Mostly these batch jobs, they need to be run when there is less load on the system. For example, many nightly and weekend batch runs are done in banks when the system load is less. Now that we have got an overview of what is batch processing, let us have a look at what is Spring Batch. Spring Batch, it is the de facto standard for batch processing on the JVM. It is a lightweight open source framework for executing batch jobs. The Spring Batch framework, it was developed as a collaboration between Accenture and Spring Source as a standards based way to implement common batch patterns and paradigms. Next, let us have a look at the features of Spring Batch. So the first feature is that Spring Batch, it is built on top of Spring Framework. So a developer, he can execute batch jobs by writing code from scratch. However, this will need a lot of efforts. Spring Batch, it is based on Spring Framework, which is a popular enterprise framework with features like dependency injection. Also Spring Batch, it is open sourced and it provides ready to use functionalities which are being widely used and also thoroughly tested. The next feature of Spring Batch is state management. So when running a job using Spring Batch, this job, it is usually broken down into logical steps and then these logical steps, they are executed accordingly. All these states of these steps, they are persisted using Spring Batch in some kind of a database. Also, we know the exact status and other metadata related to the batch job. Suppose we are running a Spring Batch job and some logical steps, they have been executed. And suppose now an exception occurs. As we are maintaining the state of the batch job, we exactly know which all steps have been executed successfully and which all steps which need to be executed in the next run. So all these steps after the exception occurred will need to be run again and this can be done because we are maintaining the state of the Spring Batch job. Next feature of Spring Batch is error handling. As we discussed previously, batch jobs, they usually run overnight and without any external interruptions. So if any exceptions occur, there should not be any external or manual intervention to resolve the error or exception. And this e error, it should be handled by the Spring Batch itself. So Spring Batch, it provides robust error handling. The next feature of Spring Batch is scalability. Spring Batch, it provides a number of ways like partitioning, remote chunking, parallel steps to achieve scaling. We'll be having a look at all these features in detail and also implementing them in future tutorials of this series. Hope you have understood this tutorial. Thank you.